What is up guys, Ron Smith, and welcome back to another video. This video is all about posting to Instagram from your computer. Roll that intro. All right, that's much better. Anyway guys, if you guys are into videos just like this one, like video editing, social media, and just filmmaking in general, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell button to get notified the next time I upload but for now, let's jump into the computer and get this tutorial going. All right, we are on our Google Chrome right now. Go to these three dots, go to more tools and go to developer tools. It's gonna open up a weird thing, but don't worry if you are on a Mac and you don't have those options, just go to view and I think it's develop and then developer tools, similar to that. Anyway, then you get this weird coding stuff going on over here. Then if you go to the top, you'll see this little toggle device toolbar icon. Click on that and make it blue. Then you'll see that your device on your left hand side actually switch to a mobile view. Then just go to the top. Then after that page is loaded, go onto your account like I just did. And as you can see, it just looks like a normal phone. So click on that plus icon. Then it's gonna open up the Windows Explorer so you can search which image you wanna post or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna post this Insta pic taken by one of my mates recently. And then you can actually adjust the crop, just go there. And you can even add a filter if you really want. Um, I'm not gonna add one. <laughs> We're gonna keep it normal. And um, go next. And then you can actually add a caption. I'm just gonna put, I will delete this picture in three minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it <laughs> anyway then you can add a location if you really want as well I'm not gonna add a location now because I'm gonna delete it then just click share and that is literally it guys so uh, just give it a few moments so it can post and there as you guys can see the photo was posted all right so if you want to exit that view just make sure you unclick that toggle device and close the developer toolbar then it'll be just like a desktop view again anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did please hit that like button. It will help this video get seen by more people and help a lot more people. And um, if you guys want more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified. Until next time, have a good day, a blessed day, and um, peace out. <laughs> that was really weird. Anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye.